with Jason Winston and welcome to the next adventure. In this video, we're going to be doing the processing of the meat. <clears throat> My most recent video I put up was the, the hunt, which was awesome. I hope you watched it. If not, I'll leave the link in the description so you can have a look at it. But uh, I'm getting everything set up here now in the garage. Tomorrow is going to be butcher day. We, uh, I usually leave the meat for two, three days. Let it hang nice, let it stretch good, makes the meat more tender. I got the heat turned back here in the garage too, just, just, just about freezing really. So uh, we got it all set up here now, it's covered in cardboard and our freezer paper. Thanks to uh, Jonathan Thermal, buddy, your saver, life saver. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't find any here in town, but he had a bit left kicking around that he was willing to share with me. Thanks again. So, uh, and another thing that's going to make this process a whole lot easier, uh, we don't have the fancy tools to butcher the meat, the band size or nothing, but uh, Daryl Golding, you've seen in a lot of my other videos, a real good friend of mine, he's a meat cutter by trade. So with a knife and a buck saw, buddy, he can make quick work of this. Without, and I figures I'd leave it hanging and hack a piece off every now and then for supper. <laughs> but he's going to make fancy work for this, so... Uh, Stay tuned, we'll show you how we whack up some ground meat and uh, we're going to do some sausages, probably a bit of jerky, a few other things as the process goes on. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, we'll show you the, the processing side of all this. And the process has started. <laughs> one going one here, old buddy's cutting her all up. Lovely roast there, beautiful meat. Beautiful meat. You just put it in uh, 10 pound bags or 12 pound bags, bread bags, some people call them. And then you wrap it in the freezer paper and it's a top sirloin roast. Ready for the freezer. Got our water buckets from the cabin there now. Nose are nice and clean, so we're using them for put the bones and everything in for the boil down and make brown, some people call it. Some people call it a pot of meat. All different names, depends on what part of Newfoundland you're from. <laughs> and this one here is the chopped up meat for ground meat. Okay. Now that's a roast. Yep. Nice tea yeah, roll 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 roll. On the second hind quarter here now, making quick work of this. I tell you what, we lack in tools, we gain in knowledge. Hey, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> it's coming along nicely. They're all washed up and rattled. Lovely T bone roast we got done there. Top sirloin roast. Getting all packaged up now. fat belly pork we always half pig every year and we get the pork with it fat belly. this is what we use it for we're grinding up the meat there now so we just take it and skin it off and uh, we use this to put in with the hamburger meat for our grease 
Works it real nice. It's always worth it to order that half a pig and have all this stuff on hand. Makes the, makes the whole process go a lot easier for sure. Just gonna take that skin off it. It's not only the grinder will be hard on, but it's even harder on your teeth. <laughs> Trim it out and use the fat. And, like I said, moose meat is very dry. Just grind up by itself, so this adds a real nice texture to it. Makes it a lot easier to follow. Puts a nice taste on it. Like I was saying earlier, because the moose meat is so lean, got to put quite a bit of pork into it to add grease. To put a bit more flavor in it too. Real nice. Uh, what we're using today is probably around three quarter to a quarter for meat for uh, the ratio for what we're going to try for pork. We'll try this best, see how it turns out. We might have to add a little more, a little less. We'll adjust it as we go. But uh, for the most part, that usually works out nicely. Two pieces of meat, a piece of pork, two pieces of meat, a piece of pork. As you can see, real nice uh, combination here when it comes in. This, uh, this ratio of meat and pork makes for uh, in the grocery store be a medium lean. That'd be the blend you'd be looking at. Just mixing up the seasoning here now for the sausages. There's the instructions in the packets for 20 pounds of meat, but we're doing 10. So we'll use half a packet of curing salt and half a packet of sausage seasoning. Just picked it up at Canadian Tire, give it a try. I think it was, it was a farm or something. Uh, smells good, I guess we'll see how it turns out. Just mixing it up in the bowl here, we use to grind the meat. Once we get this dissolved, we're going to Mix it with the meat and run it back to the grinder. Stirring through the seasoning there now. Just using the bucket we had the meat cut up in. Nose is good and clean. A lot of slow process in using the stuff there, but uh, nonetheless it's working. All in the freezer here now, packed in. There's one goose I got left there from last fall. That's an Easter Sunday. As usually I tried to hold on to one till then. We got, uh, I think we got 10 or 12 packs of sausages. There's around 20 packs of hamburger meat, rolls, some rib rolls, some soup ribs, T bone rolls, all kinds of gear. A lot of wonderful meals here. Thankful I got them. Well, folks, I guess that pretty well uh, concludes this video. Uh, something I want to say about this one special thanks to Daryl Golding for cutting up the meat, and he was on a couple of hunts with me and helped me a lot with it. And Craig Power was there. When I got the animal, drove it to me and uh, helped me on quite a few hunts as well. This has been a long journey to get this one, but now the meat is done. And sausage is made, jerky being finished tomorrow. Meat's in the freezer. A wonderful place. I'd much rather it in the freezer than down there in the woods. But uh, other than that, I wouldn't change one trip. It was awesome. Thanks again, fellas. And everyone else who helped it along the way. Y'all knows who you are. Yeah, I know who Yeah, she knows who she is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe to join me on my next adventure. Hit the little bell so you get notifications when they when I put videos up. But uh, other than that, until next time, stay safe.